One of South Australia's biggest carbon polluters, the Whaler Steelworks, has announced plans to go greener by 2025. Plant owner Sanjeev Gupta says the transformation will slash emissions and grow jobs and output. Evelyn Manfield explains. Using coal to make steel at GFG Alliance's Whaler Steelworks is set to be phased out. That's the promise from Executive Chairman Sanjeev Gupta. Years after plans to buy a new, more efficient electric arc furnace were announced, the company has now signed a contract for the furnace worth $485 million. Steel production is a huge source of carbon emissions, but GFG Alliance expects the new furnace will deliver a 90% reduction in direct CO2 emissions in comparison to a traditional blast one. And it'll boost steelmaking capacity at Wyala from 1 million tonnes per year to more than 1.5. There's also a promise of more jobs. Overall jobs we expect to be about 4,000 from 3,000. That includes the mining works, the steel works, all of Wyala's workforce. We expect it to expand to 4,000. We're getting a lot more workers, which means we need a lot more houses, which means we need a lot more restaurants, a lot more cafes, Force retail, everything builds from there in this local economy. GFG Alliance eventually wants to use hydrogen to make low carbon steel. It says it'll first use a combination of natural gas and green hydrogen before eventually fully using green hydrogen. And that's another reason why the Premier made the trip north today. As part of his campaign to get elected last year, he promised to build a $593 million hydrogen power station nearby that's set to be up and running by the end of 2025. And GFG Alliance says it'll be a natural customer for that energy. Now, the plant is yet to be built, but the government says 29 companies have put in a bid to do that work, which will be finalised by the end of the year.